So guys, you know this is hunt training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my husband drugged me out to the desert again. So you guys better listen up and pay attention because I am getting sunburned just for you guys so you can hear this info that he wants to talk about. One sec. Hey guys, Jesse with Hunt Training. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm gonna tell you why it's you that sucks and not your equipment. Stick around. Okay, Jesse with Hunt Training. Like I said, today I'm gonna to tell you why you are the person that sucks and not your gun. So uh, if you ever go to the range and let's say you're shooting at you know, a man-sized target and you see a groups, like your buddies are shooting or you're shooting, because it's probably you too, but it's just ginormous and you're like, I don't know what it is, I just can't do this. This gun is just suck. It just gun just sucks, it sucks. No, it's not, it, it's you. And I'm gonna prove that. I've got five different nine millimeter handgun pistols pistols, handguns, whatever, that I'm gonna prove to you that it's you and not again. Number one, we're gonna start out, we're gonna, we got some different cheapos, we got cheapos, okay? Taurus, PT-111 G2, 12 round, nine millimeter pistol. That's number one. Number two, Diamondback AM2, again, another 12 round, nine millimeter pistol, striker fired. The Taurus does have a double strike capability, but eh, whatever, okay. Okay, a little bit bigger gun, CZ P10C, 15 round, nine millimeter pistol, striker fired. And then I got a couple of the same gun, but set up a little differently. First, I got a CZ P09. This one is set up as a, with the decocker, so it does decock, and I will fire all the shots today from double action, so the long, heavy trigger pull. And finally, a CZ P09 set up as a single action only gun so set up like a 1911 it's got the safety and the hammer will be in the back position and it also has a high night sights but now i'm going to take you to the range i'm going to drop one shot from each gun and they're all going to end up in the same hole i don't know what he means about taking you to the range we are at the range stay tuned hey guys jesse with hunt training go ahead babe i did the introduction for you go ahead and say what you got to say uh, we've already said hunt training, so we, we're gonna cut that out. Why? Hey guys, so this is our target we're gonna use today. So I have five different pistols, like I said. Put one shot from each pistol right through the center and hopefully just make one little egged out hole and prove to you that it's not the gun, but it's you. Anyway guys, let's get out there and shoot. Hey guys, five yards, Taurus PT-111 G2. Sucked. I'm back. PO9 from double action. CZ PO9 high night sights from single action. Although I didn't shoot as good as I should have. One, two, three, four, five. From five different guns. Now some of you are gonna say that that doesn't prove much if you can't repeat it. So I'm gonna take two of the pistols and I'm gonna repeat it and we'll put five shots from each pistol in this hole. Let's go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna prove you that it's repeatable. 
Diamondback AM2. Not too bad. CZ P10C. I'll start in double action. Or CZ P09. Start in double action. Once again, 10 rounds. I had one get away from me on the a and two. I didn't let my sights settle back down, but that's two different pistols all in the same one egged out hole. But now you're gonna say, Jesse, you're only in five yards. So, okay then, let's go a little bit longer. Looks a little different right now. I'm in pro's production and um, I'm not articulating exactly what I wanna get across. For the people of you that think that this drill is easy at five yards and putting five rounds in the same hole, try it. And if you master it, good, that's where you should be. Everybody should be able to do it. It's not super difficult, but most people are not able to do so at their specific skill level of shooting. What I'm trying to show you is that the gun is capable of doing this over and over and over again. And anything other than an egged out hole about that big is not the gun, it is in fact you. So anyway, I just wanted to add that in there. Let's get back to the rest of the video. CZP09, 25 yards, eight inch steel plate. So guys, basically just trying to prove that if you're in a close range or even maybe a little longer range and your groups are, you know, getting out there big, especially at five yards, it's not the gun. It is definitely you. All you need is more practice. I still need more practice. I had a lot of misses today and I want a couple shots to get away from me, but it is always, 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 almost you. It's hardly ever the gun. Hardly ever. Uh -huh hardly ever the gun it's never it's what? hardly ever the equipment it's always always the user anyway guys i'm jesse with hunt training We're today out here with my wife lene doing some shooting we are on twitter we are on instagram we are on patreon we did just drop ourselves a patreon account so if you guys want to support the channel go over and check those out i'll leave the link in the description below also on facebook at hunt training thanks for coming and stopping with us and watching the video make yourself better today Come back and see us for more videos, and we will see you later. Bye-bye. Well, that was just pathetic for your first run. Do you have anything to say for yourself, Mr. One Hitter? For One Hitter, for Colton, that was better than I thought. Uh -huh. I was afraid it was going to be worse. Mm -hmm. Get your shit together. Round two.
car now. Hopefully, a shoe worth of shit because uh, I really want to drive this point home about people and saying their equipment sucks ass when really it's them. It's not the gun people, it's you. You're the one that sucks. I just proved it. I sucked. Really bad. Hey guys, this is Hunt Training. <laughs>